In response to the financial crisis, the FOMC lowered the federal funds rate target to virtually zero. Would you talk about the committee's decision to turn to unconventional monetary policies, which included quantitative easing? Were these policies successful, QE in particular? A lot of people say, well, there was an initial quantitative easing in 2009, which is really mostly the March meeting of 2009. And at that meeting, the committee made a major decision to go ahead with purchases of uh, a, a mix of uh, MBS and, and Treasury securities, so, and it was big. So, right. uh, so that was a, a major decision point. But at that point, we were still in crisis mode. The economy was shrinking. We were losing you know, hundreds of thousands of jobs uh, per month. And so it was very much a reaction to the fact that we had hit the zero bound and that we needed to, you know, perception was to do something more. I'd just pause here and say that the, the most important element of this whole era has been encountering the zero bound and then trying to decide what to do, if anything, given that you can no longer lower interest rates in response to uh, poor economic circumstances. That's been the intellectual challenge, and that was previously considered and a very remote or unlikely scenario. And so I think that's been the challenge of our times. I think many, many things were said uh, over the last 10 years about that, but I think the, the basic conclusion has been that there are two options. One is the quantitative easing option, or you promise to stay at the zero bound even longer than you otherwise would, at the so-called forward guidance, and that that would help stimulate the economy once you're at the zero bound. So those have been the two. They're sometimes intertwined as uh, one and the same thing. I think the empirical evidence is that these do have some effects. They're probably less well understood than the ordinary moving of interest rates in ordinary times when you're away from the zero bound. So yes, in a broad sense, I think quantitative easing has been successful.